in San Francisco. Uh, welcome to those participating via webcast. We also welcome you virtually. Uh, it's a pleasure to have a chance to spend some time with you today and talk about, frankly, one of the most exciting uh, products at Microsoft and yet one that hasn't been quite as much in the news lately. So we want to have a chance to uh, share a little bit with you here uh, for the first time today uh, some information about Microsoft Office. Uh, these are certainly exciting times. Uh, we, you know, the industry continues to move and change and advance dramatically and certainly uh, our pace of, of innovation and new product introduction has been at an unprecedented rate. Uh, Windows 8 coming to the fore here over the course of the next several months. We announced recently our Surface hardware, which is really a new type of computing for work and for play, uh, which I think we'll see a lot of enthusiasm for. Uh, Windows Phone 8 will emerge here over the course of the fall. We had a chance to share a lot about it uh, over the course of the last few weeks. Uh, some of the work we're doing around Xbox and bringing Internet Explorer and Smart Glass to our Xbox environment has some people kind of verberating, if you will, with excitement and enthusiasm. We bought a couple of companies in the last few months, Yammer and PPI. We'll talk a little bit more about both of those and where they fit today. Uh, we introduced a new version of Bing, a version of Bing which really takes us in a very different direction and says, how do we turn Bing from a search slash decision engine really into an engine that does what you want done. It'll show you what the web knows, but it'll also help you achieve tasks by showing you what Bing knows and how your friends may be able to, to help you. We have a new wave of server products, Windows Server 2012. Uh, our system management server products are being updated. We released a new version of our SQL product. We've moved new capabilities for information, uh, our infrastructure as a service into our Azure service. And on top of all of that, you see the, our entire product line being updated, Bing, the Bing applications, and others to really get ready for Windows 8. So it's an exciting, exciting time. But the flagship application from Microsoft, our highest volume application, the most important application we sell, in the lives of most of our customers, in fact, uh, is Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office is a tool for productivity for people at work and for people at home, for people who work in small businesses and people who work in large businesses, for people who work out of their home and people who are simply trying to be productive and creative at home. And certainly Microsoft Office is the number one tool for students worldwide. Uh, over a third of the users we have for Microsoft Office are actually students who turn out to be some of the most active and, and uh, vital users of information worker tools on the planet. So today we're here to talk about a new version, a new uh, generation really, of Microsoft Office. And the preview for this will be available today. I'm going to talk about it. But what we're what we'll show you today brings some of the same boldness and beauty that we've showed you in Windows 8 and Windows Phone, in some of the other new products, into the Office family of products. We'll talk today about this new generation of Office, where Office is a service first. We'll continue to make Office available as an application in traditional ways. But the office that we'll talk about and show you today and, and really explain is the first round of office that's been, been designed from the get-go for office to be a service. And you can see a little bit uh, of what that means. We've transformed in this process office also to embrace some of the same design concepts and principles that we've showed you in Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 and in Metro. I would tell you this is the most ambitious release of Microsoft Office that we've ever done. We continue to do a product and yet we're clearly focused 
starting today with Office as a Service. And you'll see that uh, over the course of the demonstration. We continue to support our enterprise customers, but in this session today, we're going to show you all of the things that are there for in office for consumers and end users in their homes and what people want to do every day. We'll have separate breakout sessions to talk about office and its new capabilities, uh, specifically in the enterprise environment. We'll talk about how office is transforming because of the platform, the new uh, systems and operating systems and hardware that it can support. But we'll also have a focus today on new application capability, new scenarios, new things people can accomplish with Microsoft Office. The fact that we're changing all of this at the same time, moving to Windows 8, embracing service first, driving new scenarios, and really doing first class job for consumer and enterprise, that's what makes this wave of Office the biggest, most ambitious we've ever done uh, in our history. Uh, starting essentially immediately, for those of you on the webcast, literally immediately, you can go and start trying the preview edition of Office. The one that we encourage you really to take a look at is the Office 365 uh, preview, which is available uh, at office.com, and I'll come back and give you some particulars later. But this is available for testing, for trial, et cetera, beginning uh, immediately uh, as, I, as I speak. What are the characteristics of this new wave of, of Office product? What we really would tell you is Office 365, the new wave of Office products, are designed to be your modern office. You say, what does it take to really support people when they're trying to be productive, when they're trying to communicate, when they're trying to collaborate? What does it really take to support people in a modern way? Number one, got to focus in on the most modern devices. And so we've really thought through and designed this new wave of Office with Windows 8 in mind. We'll run on other releases of Windows, but what you'll see today really focuses in on being designed with and taking best advantage of Microsoft Windows 8. That means supporting touch. That means supporting inking. That supports uh, the new Windows 8 visual style. That means running on ARM architecture devices, which is an important thing we started talking about about a year and a half ago, and you'll see coming to fruition. It means for some of the Office uh, modules, it means embracing uh, the new Windows application mode, not the, just the desktop mode that everybody's grown up on, but starting to embrace for certain experiences uh, the new Windows RT surface. It certainly means embracing the new Windows Phone, Windows Phone 8. And so Office is really designed with those things in mind. Your modern Office thinks cloud first, cloud first. That's what it means to say Office is designed as a service. You can just click and start running Office immediately from the service. Office uses the cloud to remember what you were doing and where you were and what your preferences and favorites are, your documents and how you're working together with other people to collaborate uh, on those things. And we need to support that for people in their individual lives, their private lives, in addition to supporting uh, enterprises in their business persona. We've made social a first class part of the modern office. One of the things that is certainly true is the way people work today is dramatically different than the way people worked when I started at Microsoft. I got to Microsoft, one of the things we did that was big to differentiate ourselves in 1980 was to put, give everybody a private office. I think that's a great concept, but it's not a uniform concept. And certainly people today work, whether it's the style of their physical office or their virtual office, people work in much more social and collaborative ways than ever before. And you see that reflected in this wave of office. The embrace of Skype, 
the ability to work on projects and collaborate together, whether your people in an enterprise or a PTA group that wants to come together and iterate on a project. We need to facilitate that kind of work. We need to let individuals in an organization band together and then work together where appropriate under the administrative control of the enterprise. That was the key kind of concept for us in terms of the acquisition of Yammer and embracing Yammer as a social infrastructure for people to work much more collaboratively. And hopefully you, you see that today. The last thing that I'll emphasize in a modern office, and this wave of office is certainly modern, is that there are scenarios that have become more and more important uh, and more and more able to be attacked with digital technology.